Well, good. So Grant will be talking to us today um, about lead conversion in essence. So that's what we talk about here and how his system can help us with that lead conversion. And I think that uh, I think you guys will be impressed at what it does and how it works. It's it's uh, for those of us who didn't want to spend the next, you know, 40 hours of our life learning how to use Facebook ad manager. It's an absolutely fabulous solution, which gets you the same results with uh, without pulling all your hair out. As you see, Grant has pulled his out. So um, therefore, he, he pulled his out for us. I'm just teasing. Probably shouldn't have made a ball joke because I'm about 15 minutes behind you. But uh, that's you one are, of the reasons I wear a hat. I, I wear a hat. Hair. You can't do that when you're wearing a hat. <laughs> Uh, awesome. All right, so it looks like we're live now on Facebook, uh, Lab Code Agents. It's Dale Archdeacon and Brian Curtis back again for Cash Call. And today we have our esteemed guest, Grant Wise, who Brian has spent the last five minutes insulting. Uh, but he's pretty has, good as what I do. He has <laughs> graciously agreed to join us on our show today. And uh, Grant is a marketing strategist, genius, somebody that's been in our industry for a really long time on both sides of the fence. Uh, and really knows his marketing and lead generation, and also happens to be the president and founder of an app called Whitley, uh, which we're going to be talking about today, which integrates with our best friend's follow-up boss, uh, who, who mm -hmm. Brian is now supporting today. So yeah. I was no doing problem. a follow-up webinar before this, so I didn't feel like changing my clothes. <laughs> right. So Grant, thanks for joining us today. Oh, man, thanks guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, excellent. So I don't know if you've ever caught our show, this little show called Cash Call, but basically what Brian and I do, because we have extensive, uh, like almost sickening number of hours on lead conversations, calls, dials, texts, everything out there, and in helping other people have better conversations with their leads, we want to have somebody like you who knows the marketing end, knows the mindset of the quote, leads that we're looking for, and actually built your own apps to help people do that. Like, we want to get your perspectives on helping our listeners better convert their leads. I love it. Yeah, I'd love to jump in and add some value. I, uh, cool. I thanks, thank you for all the kind words uh, to make up for all of Brian's not so. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I've known each other a long time, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I am, uh, a lot of things, but smart enough to build what we have going on at Whitley is, is not one of them. I had a dream and have an amazing team that's jumped in. So I want to make sure I give them credit. Excellent. And, uh, you know, lead conversion today is, is an interesting game. I don't have to tell you guys that. And there are things that can help and there's things that can hurt. And uh, we spend the majority of our time now helping agents implement uh, marketing and paid advertising strategies that ha can help increase their conversion rates. And what we're seeing is as much as two to 300%, which is epic. You get a hundred leads this month and you're used to calling closing one and all of a sudden you close two or three uh, can really help increase the profitability on all of the different lead sources that you have. And, uh, you know, more than pumped to jump in and, and dissect that with you guys. Yeah, Perfect. excellent. Great. How do we do it? Love it. Let's just die right we're, we're, we're pretty straightforward here on Cash Call. So, <laughs> Take a note. yeah, that so, sounds great. So, diving right into it, the essence of a lot of what we help people do is something called remarketing. And for those of you that have no idea what that is, it's kind of like when you go to Amazon to buy a product and then you go back to Facebook after you decided not to, and that product's just kind of following you everywhere you go on the internet until you decide to buy it. Well, that's what remarketing is. And that's what we help real estate agents do, except it's, it's leads, buyer leads and seller leads that they have generated from really any source. We're helping the agent take their brand and remarket the, the, the prospect uh, all over the internet until they decide to hire them. So the most popular way, or I won't say popular, I'll say the most effective way that we help people do this is through video content. So a lot of times what we're doing is we're helping real estate agents gather up their lead sources. Follow-up boss is an incredible partner for us in this. Uh, we're integrated partner with follow-up boss uh, because they help us collect leads from like an asinine amount of sources and pull them into uh, a platform that allows us to automatically create what Facebook calls a custom audience. And a custom audience is a target audience. It's where, it, it's where or who your ads are going to be shown to. So imagine a lead comes in from Zillow or uh, Open House or Facebook or Instagram or uh, any other source that you could think of. And it travels through these systems 
And uh, we, we set up an advertisement that then targets those people. So when they go back to Facebook or Instagram, they're seeing your content. And that's the idea. And that's you know, I, I, the idea, I think, for a lot of people is we want to stay top of mind, right? We want an, a lead every time they go somewhere to see us, to hear from us, to start to believe in us, to start to develop a relationship with us. And that's what video content allows us to do. There's really three types of content we see that perform the absolute greatest at accomplishing those, those goals, those relationship goals. But that's really the premise. We want to collect leads. We want to build a custom audience. We want to target video ads to that custom audience. And we want to do that until those people decide to hire us to, to help them buy a property or sell a property. That's really the nature of the game uh, in its like simplistic form. Uh, and I can dive in anywhere you guys want me to, if you have any questions yeah. that come up. From here, here's, a, here's a question I have before, before we get too much further in it, because you've said it three times and, you know, someone says something three times and I'm like, Hey, maybe that, maybe that's important. Maybe this person believes in this. So I noticed that you said video ads and, you know, for me, and I'd love to hear what you say about it. The video ad for me is not necessarily to convert that person to, to say, oh, I'm going to call Grant right away and say, yeah, I want to work with you. But it does something. And I think it's funny. I would love to go back 30 years ago and talk to people and say, in 30 years, you're going to be able to run video ads on a platform that millions of people every day are going to look at. And 99.8% of real estate agents won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and I, it's a funny thing because it's, it's the equivalent of buying television in the 1980s at a what? I don't even some min, minuscule fraction of what it would cost to run a TV ad. Mm -hmm. So what kind of things are you seeing that in, in what I said, was it just is it accurate? Are people getting higher conversions because people are just going, I want to work with you? Or are they getting higher conversions because they're like, you're familiar, you know, do they yeah. kind of know, like, and trust you. So I'd love to hear where you're going there. It's such a good question. One of the, one of the things that we, I started hearing four or five years ago is I can just close leads. If I can get face to face. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Leads not Everybody answer. says that. The leads <laughs> not answer, say it. And, <laughs> and I've heard it for a long time, but it was specific to Facebook, the leads not answering my phone call. They're not opening my emails and they're not responding to my text messages. I don't know what to do, Grant. I can close them if I can get in front of them. And we started to test remarketing strategies. And what we realized is if you, if you create a piece of content, i.e. a video, you literally now can take that video and put it right in front of the prospect whenever they go back to social media. And guess what? It emulates face-to-face -face interaction. The brain cannot tell the difference. We're all pretty smart guys. I forgot to connect with you both individually. I know you're pretty, pretty sharp. Your brain doesn't know the difference between us right now having a virtual interaction or we were like sitting down in a coffee shop having a one-to-one face-to-face a, a -one -face conversation. So video content allows us to emulate face-to-face -face interactions, which is why it's so incredibly powerful. If I can get face-to-face -face with my prospects, and give them content that I know that they want to see, answer questions that I know they have, introduce myself, share testimonials, which is what I would do face-to-face -face with them anyway, I can emulate a one-to-one -one human interaction just by putting video content out there. So the reason it works so well is psychological. It is because we have been programmed since we were little kids to celebritize what we see behind a TV screen. We grew up watching ABC, NBC, CBS. We grew up watching our celebrities, our favorite actors, or this, that, and the other things. Well, now the networks are Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, right? And the celebrities are influencers, right? So when I go through and I'm scrolling and I see Brian Curtis and I see Dwayne The Rock Johnson and I see Dale and then I see, uh, you know, all of my favorite people, I start to create these celebrity-like associations, this guy, uh, goes, wait, wait, oh, we got, let's not gloss over it. First, he skipped my last name because it's hard. Absolutely. Second, he put us in the same category as Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, so, there we go. You know what? You're an influencer, my friend. There we go. <laughs> go ahead. But that's that's what it is. It's it's programming. It's in it's in psychologists call it a parasocial relationship. It's where one person builds a relationship with a character, but the character has no idea the other person exists. And if you all are listening to this right now, you likely have a celebrity that you love you've never met. Oh, and also that doesn't know you, right? And, and if I go Jennifer to bash- Jennifer Aniston, that, I'm convinced knows exactly. <laughs> and if I go to bash that person, if I go to say anything negative about your favorite people that you don't know and that don't know you, what happens? You instantly get the defenses up. Like, what? 
What do you got to say about Dwayne? What do you got to say about The Rock? You know Jordan's better than LeBron. Like we can have all <laughs> ridiculous arguments, right? And we get we get literally enraged by it. And so what happens when you start putting out video content and you start doing it consistently or paying to have it shown to people consistently, they start to create the same type of celebrity-like relationships with you. They start to become uh, 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 what are the followers of yours. They start to think that they have relationships with you. It's a really, really powerful mechanism for creating more conversion conversations. This is why we're seeing such a huge increase to directly answer your question is because psychologically, the people that we are marketing to are literally hardwired to build relationships with these people and not just any relationships, like celebrity-like, influencer-like relationships. And that's why we're seeing an increase in conversion rates. Yeah. yeah. And I can speak to this directly with something that's similar. So back in 2011, I started buying Zillow leads and this is not a promotion for Zillow in any way, shape or form, but I was basically the only person in our market doing it. So because of that, I showed up on every single listing. It didn't last long, but for probably four or five months, I was on literally every single listing in my market because they've had three people on every listing and they didn't have three people paying. So I showed up and I can tell you this, nobody called me and said, Brian, I want you to list my house. But when I went on listing appointments, they're like, oh yeah, we know you. Yeah. I'm telling you, that was the easiest listing appointment I ever went on. Nowadays, it doesn't work anymore. Zillow doesn't work that way. But Grant is saying that, correct me if I'm wrong, you can do the same thing with remarketing that I was getting back in 2011 with Zillow. 100%. It's, and, it, and it's described in a word, indoctrination. When you can indoctrinate somebody to who you are, why you do what you do, how you can help them, give proof, validating you know, other people's experience, having testimonials, uh, buyer sellers that you've worked with share their experience. When you can provide all of that stuff before you meet somebody, you've basically sold them in advance of meeting them on the most important part, you, right? The process isn't like, that's, that's, that's interchangeable, you know, person to person to person. We all have access to the same processes. But people, right, do business with people. So if you can sell them on you in advance of actually meeting them, the, the selling's already done. It's, it, then it's more about closing the deal, which is a, a sales skill set. It's not so much relationship. And I think that that's what's so powerful. You've probably heard the difference, Brian. I would imagine from the people that know you before you get there versus the people that you don't, Huge. the oh. conversation's radically different. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've sat down at tables and they're like, yo, you know, I'm, I've, go, I've got a pitch. I do the same. I literally do the same thing every single time. It takes me approximately 45 minutes, every single listing presentation. But some of this stuff where I've gotten the videos, this type of stuff, I get down and they're like, we, we don't care. Just what, what's the, where's the paperwork? And yes. if you've never been on a listing appointment where they say, we don't care, we just want to sign the paperwork, yes. do what Grant's talking about. 100%. 100%. <laughs> It's, it's, it's one of the best things. I've, and I've at times been humbled by the process, right? Because we, for a long time, wouldn't even talk to anybody unless they had come from something like this. Because you get on the phone with somebody and they're like, oh, it's Grant. And I'm not trying to do my own horn, but it's like, man, I've been following you for years. Listen to podcasts, get your emails. have taken some of your free training. have gotten results. I'm ready to become a client. And then I got on the phone with people like, okay, so who are you? Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Yeah. Have you actually helped anybody? Yeah. <laughs> like, right. Like, uh, can you put me in touch with your past clients so I can talk to them? Uh, yes, no. yes. Can you give me some <laughs> referrals of people, yeah. preferably in my market, yeah. so that I know how this can work for me? That's when you're like, here's what we're going to do. I want you to go Google me, and I want you to watch a few hours on YouTube, and yes. then come back and we'll have a different Just time. go to this one website. I'm going to pixel you. You're going to watch two or three months of remarketing campaigns. Then we're going to talk again. Like, okay. that's how it's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need, you need more. You're not, you're not baked yet. You're not done yet. Right. We yes. need to put you back in the oven. But it yeah. like emotionally, like it's trying. You were on sales. Sometimes the emotional, like I'm tired of having to sell myself. Yes. And for me, like we were bringing in at the height of what we, we did a few years ago, we were bringing like two or 300 leads a day. And it's like, how on earth do you appropriately one-to-one -one follow up with that many people? It's not really possible yeah, right. it, it, effectively. And using video, it prevented us from needing to staff a bunch of people just to follow up with leads, just to set appointments. Like we were able to help implement systems and processes so people were more sold. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have ISAs or those types of people working in your business because I think it's profound. When I say we help people increase conversion rate two to 300%, if you don't have a good follow-up system, 
sales process. We're going to be implementing from zero. Because a, we're going to be increasing good, from zero <laughs> because that's, that's if you don't really, have those things, it's a problem. That's a really good point, Grant. Uh, yes, what the, the service that you provide, and I'm talking to the audience, the service that you guys provide is amazing. And that pre-framing, as, uh, as it's mm -hmm. also called, uh, in some cases is, is amazing and totally bakes the conversation for you and makes the, you know, sometimes it's just fish in water, or, you know, like fish in a barrel, sorry, is the right term. Um, but everybody listening, you still have to have some sales skills around it. You still have to have some process around it. It's not, you know, they, all the fish aren't going to just jump into the boat, right? Yeah. So with, I just want that to be clear that we're, we're not saying that. We, you know, Brian and I, and obviously Grant have experienced the power of pre-framing these people or getting them to bond with you or consume your story. Um, but we, I just want to make sure everybody understands it's not like, oh my God, all we needed to know about was Whitley and all of a sudden we're going to sell all the real estate in our market. No, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's grease on the wheels is what we're saying, right? It, that, like you said, but you it's still got to have these processes around it's gas, it. It's gas to the flame. Like it's something that's going to increase something that already exists. If you are, are relying solely on video content to do all of your sales for you, uh, I have seen it work, but I've seen it take a monstrous amount of time because then you're relying on brand. Well, brand takes time, brand takes money, brand takes attention, energy, and resources. It takes a lot of time. And so if you don't have sales schools, look, there's a lot of influence out there, influencers out there that have a lot of followers that aren't making money because they don't know, have sales skills. I think it's crucial to understand that sales is still the most important thing. Business happens in person or over the phone. And it happens as a result of you being able to sell. So I fully agree. Yeah. Um, so that what I want to know, I got two questions for you. So I really want to know what those three best sort types of content are that you see. Uh -huh. And then the other question is, um, obviously, we're talking about leads that someone has already obtained, already purchased. Uh -huh. right? So in some cases, somewhat warm or even cold, uh, if it's like a forced registration. Uh, how does that compare with running the reach? And do you even does Whitley handle running retargeting to my sphere of influence, for instance? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So uh, we look at, you know, let's break the two up, right? So you have new leads, you got to take those leads, and you got to warm them up. Like that's the goal. That's the goal of remarketing content. And so there's a process to doing that. If somebody buys a house from you and becomes a, some, you know, somebody that's now a part of your sphere of influence or a past client, we well, don't want to keep running that same type of conversion content to those people because it's not going to make any sense. Like, well, dude, I already know you. Like, I already experienced the process. Like, I already went through this. So there's a definitely something that you can do to be marketing to both people, to be staying top of mind to both types of people nonstop. Highly recommend it. But focusing specifically on lead conversion, let's say a new lead comes in. The process that we found that really works the best is, is really dissecting a listing presentation or a buyer's consultation, right? So typically when you go sit down to meet with somebody uh, for the first time, well, the first few minutes of that are, are what? They're about building rapport. They're about mm -hmm. creating connection. Well, hey, guess what, guys? Well, the first video that you should create that somebody should see whenever they start being remarketed by you is one that would allow them to do the same thing, develop a relationship with you, build rapport. I have found that if you can literally pick up your phone agent listening to this and answer this question, why do you love helping people buy and sell property? Go and film the answer to that question. There's your first video. In 60 to 90 seconds, Check. boom, there's your first video. That, it's really no more complex than that. And, oh, Grant, shouldn't it be professionally produced? Actually, we see videos that are shot with a phone, selfie style, outperform most professionally forms of branded content because it feels different. It feels Wait, accessible. Quick question. So shaky hand cinema, or do you have to get like one of those, you know, like gyro sticky things? I personally don't think it matters. Okay. I think it's the message that matters more okay. than anything. Because if you look at some of my first bits of content, we were atrocious, but they did phenomenally because the message was on point. Oh my God. I think it's more the I message should... yeah. than it is the messenger. Uh, I, I don't think that like you could sit here and do this. Now, obviously you may make, some, make somebody sick or, you know, <laughs> you certainly don't want to be rude about it, but. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of, speaking of crappy content, man, like we should all get out our first marketing pieces. Like, Oh, mine's awful. Awesome. Dude, I have a postcard that my wife and I did when, when, you know, she was a real estate agent and I was a mortgage uh, lender and it's just so bad. It's it's so, first of all, 
I have very dark hair in that poster card, which I don't have anymore, but mm-hmm. it's so terrible. <laughs> well, and, and I want to say this too, and this is a funny way to say this. I'm, I'm going to keep the clean version of this, but I'm 100% sure that the crappity, crappy retargeting video you did is 100% better than the one that somebody else didn't do. Yeah. And I know that it sounds very simple, but- it's Very Wayne Gretzky. It very, yeah, how many shots you take, miss, and all that kind of thing. Right, John but, yeah, it is, it's Chep. That's where I stole that from it. So I'll, I'll give you the Chep version. Your, your, my shitty video that I sent beats the hell out of your perfect one that you didn't. Yes. And, and that's basically what we're saying, guys, is, you know, so many people get caught in content. They get in, con- I call it content hell. I don't know what to do. I don't want to do. I don't have to do. I'm do nothing. So do something, <laughs> even if it's dumb, even if it's you just holding your phone in front of your face for 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. And Grant probably doesn't necessarily have statistics on that, but what he's saying from an anecdotal standpoint, we, we know for sure a hundred percent that it works. Well, I know for, for after millions of dollars that managed dad spent the, the videos that are selfie style shot like this, because again, it emulates face to face. It emulates human interaction. So when you, when you think about it, if you record a phone selfie style, the video on Facebook is going to take up the entire feed when they stop to see it. So now literally you're dominating the entirety of their phone screen and you're doing so where it feels face to face. If you have a FaceTime call, if you video chat somebody, you're literally face to face like this, right? It's how we communicate today in a, in, in a massive way, especially after the last 18 months. And so we have actually seen where ad money spent towards branded content that was very professionally produced and polished versus uh, ad money spent on selfie style videos that literally took no effort. You just pulled out the phone and you said something will we'll perform better. We're, we're, we're seeing that more and more so in a lot of agents businesses all over the country and some international. So we do actually have a lot of data that backs Excellent. that up. So Grant, we have a really short show. We only do a half hour. So here's what I'd love to do. Yes. Can you give us the other two? Because you gave everybody one. Can yes. you give them the other two suggestions that you have and then talk about where they can find Whitley, how they can get in touch sure. with your company yep. or how they can try it out for themselves? Okay. Other two pieces of content. Second, educational, right? Video allows you to demonstrate your expertise to the market. Now, one of my favorite strategies for creating a piece of educational content Write down a list of the top three questions you've been asked in the last 90 days from buyers or sellers, right? I would imagine a a question for sellers is, oh, I want to sell, but I'm hesitant to do that because I may not be able to move or, you know, like that is how you can demonstrate your expertise by answering relevant questions. You pull out your cell phone. A lot of people have been asking me, should they sell their home right now? Because they're afraid they're not going to be able to buy something new because of inventory answer that question in 60 to 90 seconds. If you can do that and, you know, create three pieces of content, wear different clothes, change your background setting. So it doesn't look like you just sat down and recorded them all in in a few minutes, but that's the second piece of content. Then the third and the most powerful is social proof testimonials. It is uh, paramount to the success of remarketing campaigns and your business in general, in my opinion, that you get people to share their experience working with you. you. You've done this for years through Google and Zillow and all these other platforms getting reviews. Hey, let's bring the reviews to life. Let's get the buyers and sellers that we are working with to sit down for just a couple of minutes and answer a strategic set of questions that allow them to share their experience and prop you up as the uh, person that was able to help guide them through that. So the, the third video, my recommendation would be a testimonial. It's a very powerful form of social proof. I have a recommendation for that. Here's how we do it in my coaching company is we just have myself or my director of marketing book an appointment with one of our clients. And we do it especially right after that client says some kind of impact that we've made in their business. We're like, hey, that's awesome, man. Listen, would you be willing to share that with other people who don't know us yet? Because, you know, they don't take our word for it. Uh, Can we jump on a quick Zoom? It's just like this. You jump on a Zoom with them and you're like, hey, Grant, I know you were saying the other day we made this impact in your business. What has that done for you, right? Whatever it is. And now you have your video that you can share. 100%. And and, and I'll share another way to do this because we are building out this right now um, for some of our presentations. And one of our agents reached out to four of her clients and said, hey, would you do a video review for me? And they said, sure. Three days later, nothing. 
So what did she do? She took her phone, she held it in front of her face and she said, this is so-and-so with Curtis Realty Group. I really would appreciate you can do a video for me. Just hold your phone in front of your face and, and talk about me for the next 30 seconds. Now, I like Grant adding, so you know, you might give them a couple of talking points, but again, it doesn't have to be this big professional thing where they come and they sit in front of the green screen and you've hired, no have it be real. Our most effective one, honestly, is a woman driving down the road. Now, she's not driving. She's in the passenger. But driving down the road, giving a testimonial to, about one of our agents. People love it. It's real. And, and I think that that's the thing that people don't get. Well, I'm not a video person. I'm not this. It doesn't matter. You guys provide guidance. About real. Grant, your company provides guidance on all that stuff. Obviously. We, we right? do. Uh, when somebody has, ac when somebody has a, a Whitley account, uh, they get a marketing coach. And so we actually provide a ton of video coaching, video resources, video examples of other agents throughout the country and the content that they create. So we have an enormous amount of resources for that. Listen, it's very awesome. important, guys. I, I coach one of the top luxury listing agents in Miami Beach, and she is recognizing that her competitors are eclipsing her or catching up to her because she isn't doing enough video. And mm -hmm. so she's now doing video also. And if you can have a video coach, because we're all, she's nervous to be honest. She, it's very attractive, very successful woman, nervous about doing video because she's just not, it's not, you know, she's not an extrovert, you know, mm -hmm. like some of us aren't. And so it, it holds her back from doing it and it, it actually has a business impact. So having a bit, having a coach to help you through doing that kind of stuff is massively important. And for whatever the, I'm sure that the value of the coach probably eclipses whatever it costs to use your platform in the first place. Well, unquestionably. Yeah, unquestionably. Absolutely. So Grant, um, I'm going to type this in the chat. Um, what is a way to try your product? Yeah, you can go to Whitley.net, W-I-T-L-Y.net, and you can try it absolutely free. Um, there's no credit card required. Just enter your name. And Brian, you spelled it with an E. It's W-I-T-L-Y. Ah, crap. Mm -hmm. But uh, just enter your name, email, phone number, and we give you instant access to a marketing coach. We give you instant access to a support team. We give you instant access to basically a community that's going to jump behind and help support you in getting these things in place. Again, all no credit card required. You can try it out for 14 days if you'd like to see how, um, you know, to see how you'd like the experience and then decide if you'd like to continue working with us. Excellent. Grant, thank you so much for joining us. We really, really appreciate the insights that you've brought. And, uh, you know, we hope that our listeners who are thinking about doing video or know that they need to be in front of these leads in more ways than just phone, text, or emails are going to be able to come in and do that. We have a question here. After 14 days free, whoa, great. Uh, Nancy, it looks like, well, can she, can Nancy Lou find the cost on the website on after the, the yeah, okay. it, that's, that's dependent upon the business size, team size, and all that stuff. So. Excellent. And Nancy, so also this, this tends to be like evergreen content, right? So they may have something else going on. We just want you to go to the website and check that out. You'll be able to get your questions answered. And if not, I'm sure you can reach out to their people and they'll, they'll help you out immediately. Yeah. Excellent. Grant, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Grant, appreciate you. Appreciate it.